What's up guys? We're back here behind the house doing a Saturday project. We're going to be working on these back porch steps only because they need they need worked on a little bit. That's that's probably factory. Nah, it's fine. We'll go do something else. But anyway, we're going to uh, tear these out and replace them. I got some lumber from the store and some lumber left over from replacement jobs where it wasn't rotted away yet. <laughs> and we're going to tear these out. I'm going to come down and put two st uh, two steps in because there's no sense having three steps because this third one is at the deck height. We might as well come down a step with our steps. And to do that, you see the reason they did this here, the stringers are attached to this 2x6 framing of the deck and there's nothing down lower to hook the stringers to lower. So what we're going to do, we want to have a handrail anyway right here <coughs> running down this side of the steps. So we're going to come in with a post for the handrail up tall and then I'm going to put another post down shorter and they'll have a board attached to them. This board right over here, that one they'll have that board cut down and attached to them and that's where the new that's where the new stringer ends are going to attach down here so now we'll get to time lapsing and tearing this out and making the paver spot see all the pavers making another paver spot for the bottom of the steps to sit on Okay, now that we're done with our difficult tear out, I can come in here, clean some of these bricks out, level this up with my shovel, and make a new little brick paver service, surface, brick paver service. And then we'll start putting things back. We've extended our brick paver walkway thing over this way, and I've got more brick pavers laid out on a level surface. We're going to have a board down that the bottom step stringer sits on top of and I've got my first little post in over here this is going to hold on to the the side of a board that the top of the stringer rests against that's going to run across over here to the other side of the steps and it's going to run three and a half inches long here on this side from the end of the three foot step because it's going to attach to a rail post it's going to be a taller post that comes up for a handrail so we've come along, we've cut this lattice down here to accommodate for my inch and a half. I'm using 2x6 for decking. My inch and a half board will be able to ride right on over and butt up to the, uh, the frame of the deck here. See, I came in and added in this 2x4 and that one because we're doing two 8 inch tall steps here to get up onto the porch and it was going to come down to about so and that was going to leave an inch and a half hole right there that would look kind of ugly so we filled that in before moving forward with the steps while it was nice and easy and you can get to it now we're going to continue over to this side and dig another hole and set a taller post now we've got my other post <coughs> my other post is set I got a little angle cut on the top to accommodate for my 2x6 I'll have sitting on top of it later for the handrail. And we've attached this uh, 2x10. Now we got stringers. I cut them all custom like out of that piece of 2x12 there. See how it's wider here on the bottom than it is on the top. That's because the structure it's attached to is supporting one of the stair treads at the top, so it had to be half the length. Yeah! And we've got a good strong base down here sitting on top of our bricks. So now, the next step is to cut some stair treads out of them 2x6s and attach them, and then walk up the stairs. Yeah! 
And that's what it looks like with stair treads on it. So now you can walk up into the porch again. At some point we'll be coming in here and finishing our handrail, putting another post down, making a handrail between the two, and cleaning all this up here on the edge of the porch where it's dirty and nasty. And then we got to figure out some stain or paint or something to make our steps match the, the brown on everything else. Well, there you go. Now we got another post in down here with the same angle cut. See? Same angle. Now we just got to figure out um, what we're going to do sometime for the, the railing and the spindles in between and what we're going to put on top for the handrail. Because this is all the materials that's got right now. But that about wraps us up here. Oh, I also wanted to point out, you know, before we had three steps, because one was the uh, the deck level, and if you just noticed, let me get the screw out of here. There's this screen door back here that opens out towards you as you're coming up to the steps. So now that we only have two steps down here, you can stand like off the steps and very comfortably come up and reach the door handle. Before you were kind of like further away, you had to be a whole other step away and then you had to stand kind of half on the first step and then reach over pretty far so this is way more convenient to get the door open and go up into the porch now. Hey look, Christmas tree. Woo! Right Muffin? Yep, see, way more convenient. Now this is either the end of this video or I'll see you in a second when we get stuff for the handrail. I don't know. <laughs>